Hello students, what are humanized antibodies? What is their need and why and how are they created at all? Well, these are useful derivatives of monoclonal antibodies which in turn are synthesized in vitro by hybridoma technology devised by famous Nobel laureates Kohler and Milstein. You may watch this crisp and short video on this strategic technology by clicking the link given in the description box. Hybridoma technology was indeed an amazing breakthrough, but most of this work was done in murine or mice experimental systems. Although it served the purpose of research and diagnostic tools, but was facing two hurdles for its use in the living human systems, simply because when these were administered in the patient's body, they were treated as an antigen due to their foreign origin and instead of being able to serve as a therapeutic agent, actually triggered the production of antibodies against themselves. These were rightly termed HAMA or human anti-mouse antibodies. Another problem that they posed was that the FC portion of murine monoclonal antibodies could interact well with neither FC receptors of human effector cells like the phagocytes nor with the proteins such as complement. Well, all of these issues were addressed by visualizing and constructing so-called humanized antibodies. The DNA for such an antibody is prepared by replacing the constant region DNA of both light and heavy chains of antibodies of mice with those of humans. The resultant antibody was expected to be far less immunogenic within the human host. This positive property was further enhanced by replacing the variable region 2 except the 3 CDR or complementarity determining regions which are the exact antigen binding regions. Thus produced chimeric antibodies are more than 95% human, hence are relatively safe to be administered for monoclonal antibody immunotherapy. Now, even better than these obviously are the 100% humanized antibodies which are 100% safe for use as an immunotherapeutic agent. An approach involving the fusion of a human B cell with a myeloma cell ha has been attempted but without much success. So, obviously the next step or the next trial was to create a recombinant mouse wherein its immunoglobulin genes are replaced by their human counterparts. This proved quite fruitful and the B lymphocyte of such a mouse was fused with a myeloma cell to produce a hybridoma that produced cent percent human antibodies. A number of these have been actually synthesized successfully using such an approach and are currently in use for immunotherapy. The best part is that they were identified as a self protein by the human patient or host and hence no possibility of production of HAMA or human anti-mouse antibodies was there anymore. Guys, hope this simple and logical explanation of humanized antibodies was easy to assimilate. In the next video, we shall familiarize you with immunotoxins and heteroconjugates, which are powerful immunotherapeutic agents. I take this opportunity to thank my efficient and trustworthy student, Mr. Bramji Dahia, for the beautiful editing of these videos. We thank you wholeheartedly. Take care and bye.